As all the previous statements, this statement is grafted and endorsed in a collective manner. The Global Indigenous Discounters gratefully appreciate all the assistance and support for our engagement and participation in this session of the forum. We were blessed to come together in solidarity to have our first preparatory meeting on May 15, 2011 in New York City. You contributed their threads of thought and wove their fabric that was supported and upheld by the attending senior indigenous rights defenders. The preparatory meeting was successful in preparing the youth for their participation in the forum and we wish to continue this for the years to come. We give special thanks to Joseph for their commitment and continuous support to our work. As reiterated several times, we are firmly committed to cooperating with the Secretariat of the Forum and the UN agencies to carry on the work beyond the session of the Forum. While we are highly privileged to sit in this room, most of the world's indigenous youth have no access to such an opportunity. Therefore, it is our responsibility to reaffirm and call for your attention to the following issues. One, indigenous peoples, especially youth, have the right to participate in decision-making processes, including this forum. We reaffirm that our indigenous nations shall be the ones to be looked upon in this forum, not nationality defi defined by modern sovereign states. Delegates traveling to the forum shall be protected from being detained, kidnapped, and denied entry due to visa. Accreditation, political interference, and other hidden agendas. Indigenous people's right to participation, assembly, and freedom of speech and travel shall not be infringed by any forces. We call for transparency, due process, and legitimacy to appeal for the indigenous people's organizations that are denied access to the forum. Without providing these measures of accountability, the forum cannot live up to the expectation of indigenous people. Two, a recognized and underrepresented indigenous people shall be given special attention. No indigenous person shall be excluded from international human rights protection even if they are not recognized as indigenous people either domestically or internationally. The need to include such populations under international and domestic indigenous rights protection in accordance with Article 3 of the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. Given that the Chittagong Hill Tract region has still been a heavily militarized region due to the non-implementation of the CHG Accord, it is now a serious concern that the indigenous youth human rights to participate through raising their voice for the implementation of their rights has been violated through means including arbitrary arrest and harassment. Delaying the implementation of the CHD Accord also created the fairness of, an employment, of employment and education opportunity. We strongly call for the immediate implementation of the CHD Accord and recognition of the CHD Juma people as indigenous people. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for your attention. I give the floor to Mr. Alan Sairos from the